Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a fast slideshow in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is not going to be like a top-notch slideshow. This is like for that family reunion or that company uh, sort of picnic that they want you to create a slideshow for. So we're gonna be showing you how to create one in like literally 20, 25 seconds. And then I'll show you how to further customize it, you know, if you wanna make it just a little bit sort of neater or you wanna add a little bit of a, a, a flair to it, a little twist, I'll show that as well. So this is what it's gonna look like a little bit up here. Like I said, it's a very basic sort of slideshow. It's just going from one to the next next to the next to the next and then you know we can go a little bit crazy later on by doing different transitions but so far this is just what the slideshow is so let's get started on how to actually create this first things first is we need to go ahead and import our photos so let me just delete these so I can show you that step now before you import the photos we need to go up to edit down to preferences and then into timeline the reason being is that these effects right here, we need to change them. And a lot of times if you import the photos before you change these, they won't actually take effect on those photos. So what we wanna do is we want to change this still image default duration to about two seconds. You can go anywhere from like one to three seconds here. Um, you can go you know, really long if you want. I mean, it's, it's your slideshow, you can create it however you want, but this is going to be how long the, the image is on the screen before it transitions into the next image. Up here, we have how long the transition Transition is going to go in between each one of these uh, pieces. I think that half a second is a pretty good one. Anywhere from like half a second to a second and a half for longer uh, still image durations will work fine here. Once we have those set, we'll click OK, and now we can go ahead and import our photos. If we go ahead and right click down here, we can click Import, just find a bunch of photos, and if you hold the Shift key, we can highlight all of them at the same time to import them all at the same time. You can also go find them on your file system, highlight all the ones you want, click, and then drag it in here, and it'll drop them in like so. Next thing we need to do is create a sequence. Creating a sequence is important uh, for this because the images a lot of times aren't going to be a standard size. They'll be, you know, square if they're shot on DSLR, or maybe up and down, left and right. You know, they're going to be sometimes different. So what we're going to do is we're going to create something default that's going to fit all of that. And in this situation, what I'm creating is a 1080p composition. Just going to go ahead and click OK on that. Then it will be created here. And you can see it's just a uh, an empty sequence. Now what I want to do is I want to select all of my photos. So if I click on the bottom photo here, not double click, if I single click on it, you'll see it highlights. Now, if I go to the very top, hold the shift key and click the top key or the top one right here, what it does is it's going to select everything in between these two. So it's gonna select from here all the way up to here and it'll select everything. Now, if I click and drag this in, you'll see that it puts every single picture in here at two second intervals. So, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, switches. The next two seconds, switches. So we have our basic slideshow right here. Now, if we want to just go really, really fast, all we need to do is go into our effects, search for transition, and it'll open up uh, video transitions. Look for cross dissolve, right click, hit select, or set selected as default transition. Go to your sequence, hit Control A, or just highlight everything. Control A just selects everything. So highlight everything, and then click Control D, or if you go up to Sequence, it is Apply Video Transition. If we hit Control D, you'll notice that now every single picture has this cross dissolve applied to it. So just like that, all you gotta do is import your footage, create a new sequence, put all of them in there, and then hit Control A, Control D, and you are good to go. You have a slideshow that you can just throw somewhere. Now, if you want to make it a little bit, you know, more, uh, a little bit more fun, you can sort of use the default transition to apply transitions to groups. So let's say we wanted to start off with the cross dissolve, and now we want it to sort of dip to black starting here. If we click on dip to black and right click to set selected as default transition, now I can highlight these right here. And if I hit Control D again right here, it's going to reapply the default transition, except now dip to black is our default transition. So the first ones are gonna stay the same. You'll see that they're still just cross dissolving back and forth in between here. But when we get over here, you'll notice that they begin to dip to black. Well, that was still a cross dissolve. Right there. Now you can see that we are dipping to black on these that we highlighted. And once we get out of that, it's going to just begin going into cross dissolves again because we haven't highlighted this back section. So let's say we wanted to go really crazy. Let's highlight this back selection or this back section. Go into, let's go page turn. Right click, set that as our default. Hit control D to apply it. And now we have these, you know, cross dissolves that are then going to go into these dramatic sort of 
page turns right here. So that's just a little way to sort of spice it up. You can apply different transitions to different points. You know, maybe just choose four and just sort of highlight different sections. Just make it a little bit interesting in there. Last tip is if we want to zoom in everything as a whole. So you can see that most of these photos are actually squares and there's black bars almost by default. So now if we just highlight everything, right click and go to nest, click nested sequence, name it whatever you want. Uh, what it's going to do is replace all the pieces of footage as if it was one single footage. It actually put them all in their own sequence and then imported that sequence into this sequence. Why is that important? Well, now all I have is one scale control that I can scale up the entirety of the pictures. So let's say we wanted to scale them all up so that there's no black on the edges, at least on those square images. So we can set it there and then, you know, maybe move it up to sort of center this one or center them all. And now you'll see that they're all sort of zoomed in like this and they fit in this 1080p sequence right here. And they're all, like I said, they're all zoomed. So we didn't have to individually zoom them. If you ever wanna you know, make edits to your transitions, just double click on this. It'll open up this sequence and we can make the edits in here. Now you can see that from right there. We jump over here and you know it's different over here. It's zoomed in for us. But that is how you can quickly create a slideshow in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe button. Make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.